Hi, this is Doug on RC Group's 4351E. Set up a full flying elevator on my Radian. And you can see the uh, wooden block with the bushing inside, which allowed me to insert it and make sure that the elevators were right angled to the vertical stab as uh, some five minute epoxy cured, which is important. Inside the wooden block is a bushing. And uh, there's a carbon tube running down the entire length from the left side all the way to the right side. But what you see is an aluminum tube on the right side. That overlaps the carbon tubing. It's locked on with a little wheel collar with a ball link. I don't know if you can see the focus, the little black thing on the right side. I'll go ahead and uh, point at it with some of my pliers. Right here is a ball link locking a collar, which makes the whole assembly uh, come apart. And that's nice for transportation. Of course, here's a, uh, a nylon ball uh, connector going down to a connecting rod, which is uh, a servo horn bell crank, and uh, which is pivoting on a, a little titanium socket head, actually, with a carbon piece of tubing running all the way through the other side and epoxied in as the foam takes epoxy very well. So, uh, I'm getting about 3 8 plus and minus travel and uh, of course the trim always depends on how much weight I'm going to have. I had to reassign the servos and you can see I have a small Z bend on, uh, on the rod. Now the reason why I had to reassign the servos is because I needed to come at it low enough to be able to uh, capture this uh, this control rod but that's fine the other control rod for the rudder once it's attached uh, will work just fine also this this big hole as you normally would see that gets closed up which gives the vertical stab a lot more strength and uh, I didn't want to go with a control horn um, I figured well if I'm going to have a screw in the in the locking collar I might as well just use it to uh, to uh, activate the uh, the elevator control surface. So right now I'm running 50% travel and it has really good centering just with an HXT 900 servo. So uh, can't wait to maiden. So um, in any event, uh, thanks for watching and <laughs> this, this is my hobby room. And uh, look forward to getting some good input on uh, exactly uh, how this uh, full flying stab works. Thanks for watching. Bye.